Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to share with you what in my opinion is the best way to cook Swiss chard. So this year I have a lot of Swiss chard, so I had to come up with different ways to cook it. And because within the next few days here they're expecting uh, temperatures in the range of 119-120 degrees, I have to pick as much as I can before it dies. Hopefully it doesn't. For two servings you will need five or six leaves of Swiss chard, one medium-sized onion, four eggs, Himalayan salt and olive oil. Set your burner to medium and preheat two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Start by dicing the stacks of the Swiss chard because they're much harder than the leaves and it will take a little bit longer to cook. Then add the dice stacks to the preheated olive oil, add a pinch of salt, cover it and let it sauté for about 5 minutes. And while we're waiting for the stacks to sauté, we will slice the Swiss chard leaves. It's been about 5 or 6 minutes now, so I will add the Swiss chard leaves to the olive oil, cover it again and sauté for another 10 minutes. And while my Swiss chard is cooking, I will chop my onion. It's been about 10 minutes now, so I will add the onions to the Swiss chard and cover it again. And now I'm gonna wait for the onions to soften up and get just a little bit of a golden brown color. And while I'm waiting for them to cook, that's gonna take about another 10 minutes. And while I'm waiting for the onions to cook with the Swiss chard, I will prepare my eggs. So again, this is for two servings and I will use four eggs for the two of us and I will whisk them uh, the way I do when I make omelet and then I will add them to the golden brown onions. And now for the final step of the cooking, turn the burner down to low, stir a little bit your onions and Swiss chard and start pouring the eggs in. And don't cover the pan, just start stirring the eggs very slowly so they don't stick to the bottom and just keep turning them over until they're fully cooked. I hope you enjoyed my video and if you liked it, please give it the thumbs up and if this is your first time visiting my channel, please subscribe for more delicious recipes like this one. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye!